Hey friends, welcome back to another one of my videos. This one has it all. I'm going to be giving you plenty of whole house cleaning motivation, so I hope you will clean along with me. My house was a huge mess, but even more than cleaning motivation, you're going to get to see my girls, all three of them, the twins. You're gonna see me cook a yummy crock pot meal as well as a Costco haul, because this day was full of getting everything done. It was a Saturday and my house was a mess as you guys can see so I woke up that morning and was determined to be motivated and get a lot done. I had planned on cleaning my entire house doing a whole house speed clean. I wanted to clean up the kitchen, living room, multiple bathrooms, bedrooms. I was going to be vacuuming and mopping and just scrubbing things. I just wanted to get it all done and while I was doing this, I was preparing a crock pot meal for our family that night. It was going to be a crock pot lasagna. We love lasagna, all of us do. We especially love it in the colder months. We make lasagna a lot in the fall and the winter and since it's getting finally getting cooler here in Ohio, we were ready for some comfort food. So you guys know I love my crock pot, I hate to cook. So my crock pot is my go-to. So we were going to try this new lasagna recipe. We had never tried it before. So I'm gonna show you that crock pot meal at the end. I also wanted to go to Costco. I had to make a trip to Costco. We hadn't been there in a while. And so I figured I would also show you what I got at Costco. And for all of you guys who like seeing clips of my girls, you're also going to get to see them as well. So this video basically has it all. So stay tuned and get ready for a fun, motivating, successful day that I had. That's just love. That's just love. You will get back up again, even if you don't know when. And it feels like the world is coming. If you are a subscriber of mine, I want to say thank you for subscribing. You are amazing and I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you are not a subscriber and you are new here, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to stop by and watch my videos. My hope is that you will come to my channel and maybe smile, maybe be a little bit happier, feel motivated and inspired, and just feel connected to me. I make videos twice a week here on my channel and my goal is just to motivate and inspire you. I make a lot of cleaning, organization, routine, and just mom life videos in general. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I also want you to say hi down below in the comment section. I love getting to know you guys. And I love hearing from you, so say hi. I first started out by clearing my countertops. It was just such a mess and I wanted to clear the countertops before I started cooking our crock pot meal. So I cleared everything and then I got moving. You probably already saw, but I had noodles, the lasagna noodles boiling and the recipe called for me browning some Italian sausage and some pepperoni on the stove and then adding in some pasta sauce. So I got that going and I've never had lasagna with Italian sausage, but it is my husband, his favorite. So I thought I would try that. I thought it'd be something a little different. So I got that going on the stove and then I just had to throw everything in the crock pot. And if you want this recipe, I will have it linked down below so you can check it out. And a little spoiler alert, we ended up really enjoying it, but I will show you what it looked like at the end when it was all done. After 
after I got the crock pot meal going, then it was time to do the dishes and clean the rest of the house. And if you are new here and you want to get to know a little bit more about me, I will have a playlist card right here at the top. I will also have it linked down below so you can check it out later. And I did this because I had so many new subscribers recently and they've been asking me questions. They wanna know more details about my life and what my story is. So I just thought it would be a little bit better if I just created a video playlist. You can go and check out you know, some of the videos that aren't just cleaning, aren't just organization. So you guys can get to know me a little bit more personal. I have when my girls, my twin girls, girls were born, their birth vlog, when we found out we were pregnant, just some of those really, I guess some of my favorite videos where you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So make sure you check that out. So to clean my stove, I love this Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. I love it so much. It's just one of my absolute favorite all-time cleaning products. I use it on my stove. I'm going to use it here on my sink in a minute. And then when I'm done cleaning both of those, I shine and kind of wipe everything up with a mixture, a cleaning DIY that I mix up myself. It is one fourth cup of rubbing alcohol, a teaspoon of dish soap, and then I just add the rest of the spray bottle with water. It's a disinfectant. You can use it on your granite countertops and I use it all over my house. Got no regrets, you got me wrapped around it. If you want more of my cleaning videos, I did put together a cleaning playlist of some of my newest and best cleaning videos. I will have that playlist listed right here as well as linked down below in the video's description so you can save it to your youtube account and we can clean together whenever you want so i know this is an all day clean with me but obviously because i have kids i was taking many breaks throughout the day you know, to feed the babies, play with them, just be a parent. So I started out earlier in the day and then just continued to clean all the way until it was dark and my husband was home all day. So it's obviously not like I'm just letting them do their thing. He was home taking care of them when I was cleaning in between. Into the widest ocean. If you're enjoying this video, I know it seems super simple and not that important, but if you could go ahead and give me a thumbs up, that would mean so much to me. It helps my video out. It helps let YouTube know that you guys enjoyed my video and you think it's worthy to show to other people. So I would appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. I just pulled out my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray in acorn spice to wipe down my island. I love my island. I just love having one in my kitchen. And I also like how it's a different color than the rest of my cabinets. However, because it's that off-white color, it does get messy and dirty pretty easily. So I try to wipe it down as frequently as I can. I believe that when this video goes up, Halloween is next week and I love Halloween. I just think it's so much fun. It's even more fun now that I have kids and I just, I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm dressing the girls up for. You guys will be a little bit surprised, but it's something that I'm really excited about. I am coordinating all of their costumes. So if you guys want to see what I dress them up as, head on over to my Instagram, Jamie Lynn's with an S, 
that journey that will also be linked down below in the video's description and you'll be able to see the adorable pictures of my girls on Halloween and you can find out what they're going to be but I want to know from you guys, if you have kids, what are your kids going to be this year? If your kids are grown, let me know what your favorite costume of theirs was. Or maybe just let me know what your favorite costume was growing up or maybe even as an adult. Let me know. Any of you mamas out there with young kids, do you guys hate balloons as much as I do? We had a party the day before and of course Avery gets sent home with balloons and she loves them. I hate them and I usually will keep them around for a day or two and then I secretly pop them and I know that probably sounds really mean but I kind of don't feel bad. I guess it probably doesn't make me feel that bad because when I pop them and throw them away, she doesn't even notice. So after I vacuumed my downstairs, I wanted to mop and I am using the Bona hardwood floor cleaner. I really, really love this hardwood floor cleaner. It does an amazing job on my hardwood floors and you will pretty much see me either using this cleaner to mop or the Method Almond wood floor cleaner and they are both of my favorites. I just, I always keep both of them around and I kind of alternate or just grab whichever one I'm feeling for that day. I think the Bona probably does a little bit better of a job good job the method still does a really good job but the method cleaner has that almond scent which i just love it when i can smell it all over my house it just smells clean and fresh and just makes me feel like my house is clean when i can smell it the bona doesn't really have a smell so i don't know i just kind of alternate back and forth but it's a really good cleaner So after I was done with the downstairs, I ran upstairs to start cleaning up there first. And I was going to start in the bathroom because it's at the top of the stairs, but then I remembered I was due to wash our master bedroom sheets. So I went in there to get the sheets started in the washer and dryer before I started cleaning everything else up. And I had planned on basically speed cleaning up there. I wanted to just pick everything up declutter wipe everything down not a major big clean or anything i just wanted to make for sure that everything was put away and wiped down i did run to costco before i cleaned upstairs so i will be showing you everything i got from there and i got a lot i'll tell you that a lot of good finds at costco today when i'm done cleaning i'll show you that as well as our crock pot lasagna and what it looks like
so you better believe I made Avery come in and help me clean up her room because it was pretty messy. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but she did change her clothes from earlier. She kind of has a problem. She loves to change her clothes, but actually this time I had made her clean or change her clothes because she went to Costco with me. So I wanted her to change her clothes because the clothes she had on earlier, she was playing outside. So I had her clean and uh, yeah, I had her come in and help me clean up. She was moving super slow. I had to keep making sure she was on task, probably raising my voice at least a couple of times. You can see her kind of playing around, moving slowly, and I was pretty much able to get the entire room cleaned up in the amount of time that she cleaned up her Barbies. So I, I ran out of power with my cordless Dyson, so I pulled out my trusty old big heavy Dyson, which I've had for 10 years. I hate using this, I think, especially because I'm so used to using the cordless now that's light, lightweight, and cordless. Now that when I have to push around a heavy cord vacuum, it drives me crazy, but it's a good one. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. And if you guys do get a cordless vacuum, I would almost suggest that you have another vacuum as well, just because there's there would be no way on days like today that I could get all of the vacuuming done with just the cordless vacuum in one charge. So I highly suggest that you have two vacuums. I will always have two vacuums because I will always have a cordless vacuum. All right, so before we get to the meal and the Costco haul, I quickly wanted to clean up my master bedroom and bathroom. And do you guys see those cute boots that I have right there in my hand? I just got them from Target and I'm, I'll try to find them and link them down below, but I thought they were super cute. So if you are in need of some cute booties for the fall and the winter with a little bit of a heel, a chunky heel, you can go check those out. I just feel like now at 33, I'll be 34 in March. I just can't wear wear stiletto heels anymore. So the chunky heel that is in right now is amazing because it's cute. I can find a lot of booties or boots with the chunky heel and it's a lot more comfortable for me. So I wanted to show this to you. Avery made this little note with a sticker for Mike and put it on his dresser. Now earlier today we did have a little chat. She has been putting stickers all over the house so we had to have a little talk about where we put stickers. We put stickers on paper and people not on walls or anything else. She had been putting it like on light switches and the the walls. So we had to have a little chat about that, but I didn't have the heart to take this down because I thought it was so cute.
so yay for a clean house. It felt so good and I felt so accomplished at the end of the night because I had a clean home. We had a yummy family meal that we all enjoyed, which is a win when you all enjoy it, as well as I had laundry done and we went to Costco. what I got at Costco today. I just made a quick trip. Addison, you wanna say hi? Can you say hi? You say hi to our friends? Do you wanna say hi? <laughs> it's getting late, so these babes are getting fussy. I got Addison, Mike is holding Emery, but I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I got from Costco. Okay, so let's start over here. Trying to do this one-handed with the almost 14 pound baby in my hand. All right, so I got some of the chicken tortilla soup. I've had this before, I really like it. And I just figured it would be something good to have on hand for times when I can't meal prep and I just want something quick, easy, and healthy. We got that. We get this these pretty much every time we go to Costco. They're, they are the Purdue Simply Smart Organics uh, chicken chunks and we all love them. Ava really, really likes them and it's good quality chicken. You know how when you have some chicken chunks or chicken tenders or chicken nuggets and it just doesn't taste like good chicken? Yeah, well this is really good chicken. So this is a family favorite. Um, Mike and I both use Dove Body Wash. These Nature Valley Almond Butter Biscuits, we love these so much. Avery eats them a lot of times in the morning before school but these are amazing. I love them. They taste so good. Um, some dishwasher pack, soap packs. We always get them from Costco. Annie's macaroni and cheese cups. Now this one was a tough one for me. So I'm sure a lot of you moms totally know what I'm talking about here, but I'm sitting there looking at the Annie's macaroni and cheese cups and then the craft, and I'm like, okay, which one do I go with? I know the organic Annie's is better, but it was it was a lot more expensive, um, almost double the price. And it was just like, you know, you have that internal debate. It's like, I know organic is better, it's healthier, but is it worth the money? And I know a lot of people are gonna message and say, yes, it's, it's a long-term investment. I get it, I totally get it but it's just really hard. So I, I don't know, let me, let me know if you guys have those internal struggles as moms that want to feed your kids. I ended up going with the Annie's because kind of our situation. So it's just Avery eating it. I don't have two or three kids eating these. So we, it takes us forever to go through a box. It's 12 cups, you get 12 cups. And so Avery will eat, this will be, each cup is two meals for her. So she's basically getting 24 meals out of this. So I'm like, all right, I'll justify it. Now when I have three girls eating these, a full one at a time, will I be able to justify the money? I don't know, but sorry for going on that little rant. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of you moms probably understand the struggle and you probably do the same of going back and forth and deciding which one to go with. Kodiak cakes, we love these. It's pancake or waffle mix. Um, we. We've been eating these for forever. We love them. They're just, it's protein packed waffle pancake mix. So I just like it because it has the added protein. These Sunrise Energy Bars, Avery loves these, I love these, but they're just a quick little snack or even breakfast. Prenatal vitamins, which I know a lot of people don't realize that you can take prenatal vitamins um, if you're not pregnant. Just because I'm postpartum, I know that the prenatal has a lot of extra stuff in there that I just wanna continue taking prenatal and I probably will for the foreseeable future. Um, I got some wine. Mike and I love the Prosecco from Costco. We both love champagne. That's probably my favorite drink. Um, and I think they have a good Prosecco. And then I never tried this red blend by the Kirkland brand, but I, we drink a lot of red wine in the winter and red blends are my favorite. These fruit and vegetable pouches, another go-to. Avery is a big granola bar and pouch girl in the mornings before school, which works for all of us because everyone's so busy trying to get out of the door. So we go through a lot of those. I got Avery some yogurt tubes by Stonyfield or sparkling water. I love this stuff. Um, I drink a lot of water and sometimes I just need something different than just plain water. 
and this is one of my favorite sparkling water brands. We are a big pizza family. We love pizza pretty much in any form, and I had this. Um, I've gotten this before at Costco. They had a free sample and it was really, really good. It tastes way better than what it looks like on the box. I promise it's super flavorful, a pretty good frozen pizza and you get three pizzas in there. Some juice boxes that Avery already got into. Skinny Pop, I eat Skinny Pop like every night. <laughs> I got some laundry detergent. We always get our laundry detergent from there. And I got some Bona. I would switch that over, but I can't because I got a baby in my arms. But the hardwood floor cleaner, this is one of my favorites. This and the Method Almond wood floor cleaner, those are the two that I go back and forth with, but I love this and it was a really good deal, um, really good price. So I picked that up. I've never gotten that from Costco before and I don't even know if I've seen it there before. And then these are the Downy Unstoppables. They're the beads you can put in your laundry. I like using them when I clean our sheets. Just makes everything feel super fresh and I'm a sucker for anything that smells good. Hi. Hey. Hey girls. Can you say hi? This is Addison and this is Emery. I'm gonna go ahead and go fold laundry, but I'm gonna close this out here because these babies need to go to bed. So I'm gonna go kind of get ready for bed myself. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I still have to fold a load of laundry that I did earlier today, but we're gonna get these girls to bed and then I'm gonna go fold the laundry. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this all day clean with me. Let me know if you guys are cleaning along with me. Also, let me know if you guys like the Costco haul. I just thought it was something different. I wasn't planning on adding that into this video, but I just like how it was something different than just cleaning. So let me know if you like that because I can definitely show you more grocery hauls and other things in my cleaning videos. If you like it, forget to give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. That will be linked down below, jamielins.journey. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell but yeah we're gonna go do laundry so stick around for that but i will see you guys next time it's bedtime so the last thing i did was my laundry i just sat here watched some of my reality tv shows caught up and just kind of relaxed as i finished doing the laundry and what well, I was really motivated to keep going and get this laundry done because I knew at the end when I was done, I was done for the day and I could finally just relax and I was looking forward to that. But if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get all notifications when my videos go live. And I guess I will see you next time. Bye.